Hello, this short video is just a quick overview of a fun model that we put together in Model Risk. Hope you find it interesting. As we are making this video, it's currently the end of January in, in 2010. There's one game left in the 2009 NFL playoffs, and that's the New Orleans Saints versus the Indianapolis Colts in the Super Bowl coming up in about a week. In honor of the end of the football season, decided to put together a relatively simple but fun model that hopefully will be of interest to some people who are football fans. It's based on the well-known Sagarin ratings for the NFL, which are available in the USA Today, and it's inspired by a sports analytics blog by from Professor Wayne Winston, and I'll give some references to those at the end here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run a uh, simulation of 5,000 playoffs, and while that's running, I'll give a descript brief description of the model. The Sagarin ratings are listed here for the week prior to the first round of the playoffs or the wild, wild card round. The way the ratings can be used is each team gets a rating, and then there's also home field advantage rating. And so what we've done is we've taken the home team's rating, we've added the home field advantage, we've subtracted from that the rating for the away team, and we're using that as the mean of a probability distribution. And right now, for no super good analytical reason, we're using a standard deviation of 14 because that's two full scores and seems to make some sense. And since this is just a fun model, we don't need to uh, get overly analytical about the standard deviation of our distributions. Basically, what we do then is we can model the probability in a probability distribution, the point spread between the home team and the away team. We can then draw random samples out of each of those distributions and determine whether for that random sample, the home team or the away team would be the winner. We've built the model such that the model knows which team is home, which team is away. The model also knows who plays in subsequent rounds. The winners, based on their seeding and so on, are placed in the proper game, and whether they're home or away, all the way through the end of the playoffs and through the Super Bowl. We, from this, we can generate some pretty interesting results. For instance, we might be interested in who are going to be the AFC champion and the NFC champion. Our model provides probabilities, and so before the wild card games even started, we, the, our model was showing about a 40% probability of the Colts and about a 47% probability of the Saints being the teams in the Super Bowl, which is, as we know now, what happened. What's also interesting is to sort of look at, well, what's the probability of, the, of each matchup for each team. And so, for instance, the probability that the two number one seeds in both the AFC and the NFC being in the Super Bowl is about 18.5%. And in fact, if you go back and look at past years, it's not often that the number one seeds are always the teams that end up playing for the ultimate championship in the Super Bowl, which is kind of interesting. Another interesting thing is at this point in time, or the point in time uh, that these ratings were set before the wild card, we can also look at what's the probability of a particular team winning the Super Bowl. And here we've got the Colts at about 21% and the Saints at about 26% probability of winning. And what we've done, and uh, I'll show you how to get this model if you're interested later, is, provide, is as each week went along, we've updated the Sagarin ratings and rerun the simulation. And interestingly enough, when we get to the uh, Super Bowl itself, if you recall, in, in the in, before the wild card week, the Colts had about a thirty percent or a twenty-one percent probability, and the Saints were about twenty-seven percent. Now, over the time. The, the ratings have changed, or over the weeks, the ratings have changed, and actually the probability is now giving a slight advantage. The model's giving an advantage to the Colts, 51% to 49% for the Saints. So it's uh, hopefully a fun model. We had fun building it, had fun 
explaining it to you. And if you're interested in finding out more about this, I'd encourage you to contact us. In order to run the model, you'd need a trial version of model risk, which you can obtain from www.vosesoftware.com. You can get a fully functional 30-day trial version of model risk. If you're interested in reading the blog by Professor Winston, it's www.waynewinston.com. And if you're interested in looking at the Segarin ratings, they're, uh, as I mentioned, available in the USA Today. And uh, you can find them at this link. So if you're interested in football and interested in this model and would like to have your own copy of the file to run, modify, and uh, maybe improve, please uh, feel free to contact Vo Vose Consulting. The contact there is Tony Gourlay. You can reach Tony at Tony at VoseConsulting.com via email or by direct phone 303-768-8669. Hope you enjoy the model. Hope you enjoy the end of the football season. And hope you enjoy learning about risk analysis.